I did call her and tell her I bought this though. It's a 2021. It's a different one. I didn't think that was something like that you were gonna get. Cause it fits two. It can fit like five. Really quick, I just want to let you guys know that Shop Crawls is having a massive Black Friday sale. It has already started. They're not waiting until Black Friday. This whole entire month is crazy good deals on everything you could possibly imagine. Click the link down below and it'll bring you guys right to the sale. But let's get back to the video. You probably get a. I'm not putting that in. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's episode is going to be a little interesting. Todd and I are going to go catch some live bait. Most of you guys will know what type of fishing we're doing once you see the live bait that we catch. Some of you will be able to put two and two together. Some of you won't. I'm going to kind of wait and show you guys. There's going to be a lot of interesting things in today's episode because today's episode is sponsored by Shop Carls and they are coming out with a crazy new bait. There's like 10 people in the entire world that have this bait as of right now, today's date. Maybe by the time you guys see this, it might be coming out soon. The release date might be online. I don't really know, but it's a crazy new bait that I'm totally going to be using today as well as the live bait that Todd and I are going to go catch. So you even tell me about this. Uh, you're going to turn right this here. This is a surprise to me too, guys. She didn't even tell me about this bait. You're right yeah, I don't know why. Like there? Yeah. Oh, weird. Yeah, it is a street. Anyways. It looks like we were pulling into the gas station. We might be a little lost. Uh, anyways, <laughs> anyways. We're going to go catch some live bait. We got the bait buggy. We got an aerator. We got the kayaks. We're going to be river fishing. It's going to be a blast. I think we'll get on some fish no matter what happens. So I'm really excited. Yeah, we're in the right spot. I just never came this way before. Welcome to river fishing. <laughs> Part two from New Hampshire, if you guys remember that. <laughs> and then see the paved road. Take a right at the paved road. And then there's a parking lot. Oh, my God. And then there's a parking lot right there if you want to park next to the white car. Oh, in here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then there's a little spillway right here where the fish are usually stacked up. We'll just catch them. We got this figured out, hopefully. Well, this white car. Yeah, wherever. I mean, it doesn't I matter. Here. I thought you meant in there. No, this is a parking lot right here. So we're going to go catch some live bait. We'll talk about that new bait coming out on Carl's Main Tackle later on in the video. We're going to get everything rigged up and go catch some bait. Are you excited? Yo, I'm super jacked. It's cold out. I haven't gone for these fish since last uh fall the last time i went after these fish were was ice fishing in maine yeah it's been a while the last time you caught one was an accident yeah that's true <laughs> on a top water <laughs> popper <laughs> so if you guys watch my videos religiously you might be able to figure it out from that all right let's go do this all right later later community what's up all right i'm gonna walk to the spot it's literally right here all right while todd's doing an intro I'm gonna go see if I can catch some fish. Last time I came here, they were stacked up. So uh, this is my bait bucket that I got from Plantation, Florida. A little shout out to BJ's Bait and Tackle. They're like the people. They're so cool there. <laughs> we're going after monsters. Yeah, we are going after big fish today. couple times one in, once in the water <laughs> so Todd just caught three I was over here he was way down the river and he just came up to me and he has three so let's go check him out yes <laughs> they don't have to be lively either oh I mean this one's a little knot but these two are kicking yeah he's the first one I caught was the bigger one Nice! All right, let's see if I can go get a couple more. Yeah, try a couple more and then if not, whatever. Put the bubbler on them. Okay. All right, we got 
got the bubbler. And we got our three fish. This one's a little dead, but honestly, it does not matter. pretty long it was probably my second cast when I fell in the water and we were there for like what like 45 minutes yep. I lasted pretty long that water temps definitely around 45 degrees so <clears throat> my legs started going numb so we're headed to Walmart I'm gonna get a new pair of clothes we're headed to the river we're gonna go catch some big fish hopefully hopefully I didn't fall in the water for nothing fingers crossed on that one <laughs> I'll meet you guys at the river All right guys, we are officially on the river. I do have the live bait with me. And I'm also gonna be starting with that secret little bait that I told you guys about, the spinner bait, which I'll show you guys shortly. The thing is juicy. Yeah. You got one? Yeah. yeah. I'm so happy right now. Oh, and it died. <laughs> show that GoPro. Yes, dude, that's a good fish little chunk like healthy chunk that's awesome i'm so happy right now <laughs> Not the uh your phone speed. is much better yeah <clears throat> i was wondering i was like why didn't you grab just the net dude over the side. yeah i was like is it pike why is he not grabbing his net welcome to river fishing <laughs> that's exactly what i was thinking and todd and i always do good in rivers todd used to hate river fishing before he met me oh my goodness all right, buddy. There he goes. Go, go, right under your eye. All right, congrats, brother. I'm gonna go catch some fish too. Well, I guess I kind of added myself. We are pike fishing, but this river holds nothing other than pure giants, which is what we are after now is a good time to tell you guys about this brand new catch go bait it is their 10,000 fish lineup of baits and it is juicy it is not your ordinary spinner bait spinner baits have a straight retrieve this bait right here goes into the water oh come here let me show them goes into the water and goes like this like hold on like this like it's not a straight retrieve it's going up down up down up down you can feel the subtle vibration of it going up and down. Um, the whole design of the spinner bait kind of just blows my mind. It's not like a connected wire right here. They're separate. And then connected by the little joint thingy majig. These, it's just crazy. They have Colorado blade and a willow blade as well. So they have different options. They have different colors. This is a half ounce. They will have a bunch of different sizes and a bunch of different colors, and it is just out of this world. I think it's going to change the spinnerbait industry, like, forever. Like, this thing is one of the coolest spinnerbaits I've ever thrown in my life. But if you guys want to become a Shop Carl's member, you can, and you get early access to baits like this. You save 30% off on baits like this, and you get free shipping. So I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to go check out Shop Carl's, become a member. I highly recommend it. Alright, so I, I know my performance in this video wasn't great. Todd and I were on the river for probably about six hours. Alright, it was it was pretty nuts. Yeah. <clears throat> the only thing we caught was that largemouth bass. We went all the way up the river. 
all the way back down, fish all the way there, fish all the way down. It was pretty intense and just a largemouth bass. I ended up getting two bites on a jig and I missed both of them. So pretty brutal, but I have some crazy missions coming up. So the videos after this one, they're just gonna get crazy, but I have something insane to show you guys. But before I get into that, make sure you guys go check out Shop Crawlers. Their sales right now are insane. Just the Black Friday deals. I can't say it enough. But let me, let me show you guys this. So as most of you guys know, my kayak weighs a lot. I struggle to do it by myself. And if you guys know Weston Smith, I hung out with him recently in Florida and Buddy has a kayak trailer and it looks so nice. It's a utility trailer. I think it's, it's custom. So I don't know the exact measurements. It's like 10 and a quarter or something. I don't remember how long his kayak trailer, utility trailer is. So I've been on Craigslist looking at utility trailers and uh, <laughs> I went on Facebook marketplace and I had like uh, this guy, a really nice trailer. And then we show up and the trailer is like not nice at all. Didn't have the title, didn't have the bill of sale, didn't have registrations, nothing. And I was like, my dad was with me and he was like, it's so sketchy. I was like, all right, let's just go look at brand new trailers. We pulled the trigger boys. We pull the trigger. Kayak fishing is gonna be crazy. I'm already thinking of what to do with this. Like, I could literally put a tent in here because it's so big. Like a two person, four person tent and I could go travel and just sleep on my trailer. But you guys gotta let me know what you want to see in this trailer because I wanna do so much more to it than just use it for a kayak trailer. I mean, if you're gonna buy something expensive like this, get some use out of it. But I'm gonna show you guys this trailer really quick because I'm so hyped about it and this is so needed. This is gonna help me make content in an easier way because putting this 100 pound kayak on top of a car is so hard. So we got this right here. All you do is you take this out and then you also take this one out right here. This thing comes down. So if I wanted a snowmobile, off-roading vehicle, whatever, I can transport it on this bad boy right here. Obviously this is where the license plate goes, but you know, COVID, so it makes things really hard to get registered, but we'll deal with that soon. Look at these tires. Oh my God. You got a stepping stool right here. These right here, a little, you can put straps to them. There are one right there, one, three. So there's three and then three on that side. And then my beautiful kayak sitting so nicely in it. Now I have to say, Weston was my inspiration for getting this and he showed me something really cool that he does with his trailer and his kayak. I either wanted a 10 or a 12 foot kayak trailer, utility trailer, I keep saying kayak trailer, it's a utility trailer. Anyways, it's not meant for kayaks, but I mean it could be used for anything. He put, he has a 12 foot kayak as well, so his kayak goes here and then all the way here. So this thing is not moving like at all. So I don't even have to strap it down when I drive. Like this thing is not gonna go, like it's not coming out. Like that's, uh, I'm pulling as hard as I can. It is not coming out. But of course I'm probably gonna strap it down just to make it safe because that's the last thing I want is to lose my kayak. That would not be fun. Come here. <laughs> my mom just got home. I'm gonna show her the trailer. I did call her and tell her I bought this though. Oh, Kelly, hi, Bubba. What? 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 What are you doing? Stop it. Hi, Scott. Scott, Scott. Oh my god, don't sniff the mic. She's sniffing the mic. She's trying to eat the mic. Hi. Good girl. You want to see my kayak trailer? Or utility that's, trailer? That's a different one. I didn't think that was something like that you were going to get. Because it fits two. It can fit like five. Wow. Mom is impressed. It's chilly. It's cold. You know tomorrow's gonna be the coldest day of the year. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, no, sit. Get, 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 get out. <laughs> I did, so it's a 20, it's a 2021. The dogs are being so loud. And then, so what Weston does is he doesn't even strap his kayak down because this isn't going anywhere. Like it can't go forward. So it's like literally perfect. She likes it. Then my dad's over there too. I don't, want, I don't know what I was expecting, but this is a nice one. <clears throat> yeah, this is a utility trailer, so it's meant for whatever. Mostly like yard work stuff, but like literally anything. It's all thanks to Weston Smith. Is this fault? Yeah, it's his fault.
Well, my parents both prove I love this thing. You guys gotta let me know, what do I do with this? I already bought it, so I mean, it's mine. I can do what I want with it. You guys drop comments down below. I'm not gonna like customize it to like an extreme. I do kind of want to paint it yellow. If you didn't know, yellow is my favorite color. I'm thinking about it. I like the black. It's very slick, it looks nice, but like yellow, you know what I mean? I just really like the color yellow. I can see it now, just nice yellow. But I don't want it like gross like yellow. I want it, I don't know. But Weston's kayak is this color, like greenish, like Guggen Green, but I really like the color yellow. So I, I can see some yellow on here and I can see a nice tent camping out on here as well. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Also, I'm not sure if this is gonna happen, but there's a possibility Todd and I are gonna go on a pretty crazy road trip with this thing because guess what? We can just throw our kayaks in here. So we're thinking of making our way down the East Coast but we'll see if that happens, it all depends. Once it gets too cold this winter, and maybe we're over ice fishing, which probably won't happen. We might just go down south, but we'll see. I'm really planning on taking this thing on a big road trip, I can tell you that. One last look, my beautiful 2021 utility trailer, which is also kayak trailer. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'm so sorry I didn't catch any fish, but I did fall in the water and I did make an expensive purchase. So at the end of the day, was it a bad video? I don't think so. Also, Shop Carl's, guys, you gotta go check it out. It's so crazy. They also, I don't wanna like say it and then you guys go on the website and you make them sell out, but the Shop Carl's beanie, the beanie, it's so nice. I bought two. I really hope they're not sold out by the time I post this video. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm just really happy. We got Shop Carl's deals. We got a new kayak trailer thingy magic. I'm calling it a kayak trailer. I know it's a utility trailer, but we're calling it a kayak trailer. And not only that, but no, that's it, I think, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really happy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for the view, all the love and support. I'm going to end off the video here in my beautiful kayak trailer. Still got to name the kayak, by the way, so drop comments down below. But that's all I got for you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for clicking on today's messy episode. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys next time.